Well, you remember earlier where I said we'd uh, fixed our, vi our electrical problem? We're back at it again. Note the hat. Yeah. Sadie's all excited because she's coming along. She thinks she's an electrician today. <laughs> yeah, Sadie, let's go fix it. Ken is searching along the line uh, where the conduit runs down the hill to see if there were any obvious signs of somebody who, you know, was digging or something and maybe broke into our line accidentally. We've done a little excavating here just to check out the lower end of the tube as it enters the ground. Thought maybe we'd find something. I don't think we did. Let me just show you what we have. So the tube's going in right there. And right about in there where the, uh, a root crossed over it, it did compress the tube a bit. But, I don't know, up and down this line, we're not seeing anything that says, uh, you know, the line has been compromised. So we're gonna go back to the top and check out a few things there. We are back up at the top of the hill. And uh, no smoking guns yet. By the way, we're gonna market this as a workout video because um, I think if you did this every day, you could lose weight. We're gonna dig this up. See if there's anything else that we're missing here. We are waiting for the power company to come out here and put that uh, fuse up. So in the meantime, we found something to do. You got any threes? No threes, go fish. You got a five? Five, uh, yeah, here you go. All right. Uh, how about an eight? Go fish. Well, Ken and I have finished our go fish game and uh, we're ready to head back up the hill. And by the magic of video editing, we will be there in a blink of an eye. Yeah, believe it. Right now we're here, and now we're here. Later. Okay. Reading 22 and a half amps. Please hang up and try again. Well, as we have documented on this website before, we've been having electrical problems here at the radio station. While Ken Anderson was here, he and I tried to uh, get that worked out. Jerry Peterson is back on the island now, and he's, uh, he takes care of all the electrical issues here. So we've contacted the electrical company again. We think we have this narrowed down to the problem area, so today we'll be uh, taking a look at that. And hopefully, this will be the conclusion to this video. Rocky's with us again. Rocky's very famous. He's on our first video. So we're heading up. They're gonna climb up there and start tackling that spot right there. We've done all we can do here. We're uh, putting the pole back up, or the conduit back up on the pole. And now we wait for the power company to come and reconnect everything. And uh, then we will uh, find out. Well, we have a piece of good news regarding our electrical system. Jerry Peterson just told me that the guys from the power company just showed up outside and that they're going to be putting in a new pole and bring the power lines down from, the, uh, from that pole way up on the hill, bring them down above ground. So we're just going to abandon the underground cables and uh, string the new ones. And the nice thing is they're going to do all the work and uh, not hand us a bill. So let's go out and see what's going on. Well, we've caught up with Jerry Peterson here who's handling all of the electrical stuff here at HRGS. And uh, Jerry, we're coming to the end of this uh, electrical problem. What, where do we stand? What's a quick overview on what yet has to be done? Brayco just came out. They've run the new lines down the hill from the transformer to the new pole behind the generator shop. When we get all done in an hour or so, Lord willing, everything's going to work, and we're going to have to. We'll be able to quit blowing fuses all the time. And, uh, so now I need to relocate the meter box and put a mast and a weatherhead on that so that they can feed the power lines into that and then I'll need to refeed the wires from the meter box into the main breaker. Yeah, I got 
pressed into service here. I'm, I'm a helper. I'm almost an engineer now. So here is the new pole, along with the new wiring coming down from the hillside. And then everything comes in right here, into the meter, and into the building. So we have our three-phase power once again, although one of the phases has some fluctuating voltage. We hope to have that fixed in the next few days. But for right now, the three-phase part of the project is done.